Hello student. Today we discuss about the full quantity. Uh, in this topic, we discuss about the food quality, sensory evolution, primary sensory attributes, appearance, factors affecting perception of appearance, texture, chemical and physical, flavor and three components of flavor. Firstly, we discuss about the food quality. Basically, food quality is classified into two uh, into three terms. First is sensory attribute. Second is nutritive content and third is food safety. Firstly, we discuss about the sensory attribute. In this sensory attribute, we analyze or we uh, study about the sensory. The sensory parameters which classify into three to four points or basically six points. First is color, then flavor, texture, taste, overall acceptability and mouthful. In this content, we uh, consume the food and analyze the various types of sensory attribute. Okay. Next is nutritive content. Various types of food we intake every day. In this uh, uh, regular diet or regular uh, food intake, we don't uh, check about the nutrient content is present on the in the food or uh, described on the food product. Basically, various types of food uh, product has various types of nutrient content. It contains carbohydrate, protein, fats, vitamins, minerals, and etc. Basically, various types of food which gives the body to nutritive value, uh, which is classified by the growth parts of body or the nutrient content, we have classified. Next third point is the food safety. In the food safety, we basically study about the uh, food is safe or hygienic. Uh, in hope, we know about the food preparation, but in industry level or market, we don't have any proof or any other uh, um, any other clue about the how to prepare food. Basically, in this food safety point, we discuss about the how the food is safe or not, or it is consumable or not consumable. Okay, next. Next, we study about the sensory evolution. Sensory evolution is basically point is on the sensory. Sensory means various types of human senses are present in our body. It is basically on organelle taste, basically called means uh, those senses or the food material after consumption, we intake them senses, may feature five types of senses, means eyes, nose, mouth, teeth, and uh, fingers, many hands. Basically, we study about this. Human senses to evaluate palatability. Humans as panelists or judges as measurement instrument. Next is value depend upon objectivity and precision of judgment. Sensory evaluation is basically carried out by the human senses, which means after the consumption of food, where our senses or human senses or human organs are evaluate the food product, which means the color of food product, the texture of food product, then flavor, taste and mouthfeel and overall acceptability. In this sensory evaluation process, the basically how much the food is good in overall or the condition or the main thing of the food is how to after consumption the food is good for consumption or not. It is depend upon the sensory evolution. Next is primary sensory attributes. There are Three basically primary sensory of attribute. First is appearance, second is flavor, third is texture. In this may in this sensory attribute, first we discuss about the appearance of the food product. Okay. Basically, appearance of food product which is carried out by the human eyes. 
okay if we take the food in market or in home or any other places firstly we attracted by the color of food when the food color is not acceptable or when the food product food color is not good in nature then we do not take or consume the food product. but the when the food product is attractive we basically intake the food hence the appearance of the food or uh, appearance of the food or color of the food which is steady or the senses by the eyes next is flavor flavor is the various types of food product which include in the processing means when the strawberry jam includes strawberry flavor or strawberry essence for the flavor of the food product uh, various types of food is basically depend on the natural flavor which is fruit flavors fruit flavors or the other flavors but sometimes we uh, we but sometimes we added the synthetic flavor or flavor essence for the uh, production of the food next third is texture texture is depend upon the food basically is the size shape or the thickness or cons uh, consistency the uh, solid uh, solid food product is also basically have various types of texture some uh, some examples are chips are the crispy nature and the uh, uh, jam are jelly type nature it's like jelly texture apple or uh, jam or uh, squashes are liquid in nature with consistency uh, basically texture or consistency depend upon the food product texture is basically classified by the solid and semi solid nature but, uh, but consistency is depend upon the liquid nature when we intake or we when we intake some type of liquid product we do not take or we do not senses by the texture it is senses by the uh, consistency but we intake solid like foods or uh, semi solid like food we say, uh, we we analyze the texture of the food perceived by senses individually and processed by brain into total impression of quality next in this appearance point we take the shape and size color or hue gloss luster or sheen and other surface characteristics and volume and interior appearance basically in the appearance we study about the shape and size the shape of uh, food product and size of food product second point is color or hue basically in appearance firstly we focus on the color it means color is attractive or not third is glossy or sheen or luster or other surface characters uh, the food uh, material or food which is glossy in nature luster in nature sheen nature or other characters which top of the surface then volume how amount of volume means size and shape or the uh, percentage of volume next interior appearances interior appearances is how much is the interior part of the appearance is good or not next factors affecting the perception of appearance firstly how much or which type of factors is affecting on the uh appearance first is nature of the light source second nature of the object third nature of the surround second point is texture chemical or physical means chemical and physical in the texture firstly we discuss about the hardness or tenderness hardness or tenderness how to calculate or which points is include in the hardness or tenderness first is brittleness second is chiviness third is gumminess and second point is cohesiveness third point is viscosity elasticity and adhesiveness next point is flavor flavor is basically uh, two types is olfactory means smell depend upon the nose or nasal cavity from mouth second is taste in taste we different types of taste are uh, basically uh, uh, class first is salt 
basically it is present in the tongue of front side bitter back side sweet front teeth sore sides and umami taste enhance such as msg that are same there are two types of flavors uh, basically flavors are basically classified into various types first is uh, flavor is combination of smell and taste in the olfactory means same uh, smell in smell we study about the uh, how the food product is smell or the smell of the food product it is carried out by the nose or nasal cavity from the mouth and second point is a taste taste is which is different type of five types uh, types of taste basically the uh, first is salt means salty taste which is present in the present in the front side of our tongue second is bitter taste which is present in the back side of tongue third is sweet taste which is present in front tip of tongue fourth is sour taste sour taste basically present in the side uh, sides both sides of the tongue and umami which is taste enhancer such as msg at savory okay we see the image of olfactory bulb a alpha three cells aroma molecules basically in this image we uh, only study the how the flavor or sensory of a uh, flavor or taste is carried out next uh, see the table the three components of flavor uh, one side is sensory system which is basic taste smell or chemical feeling factors examples of basic taste are sweet salty sour or bitter and umami receptors are taste cells on taste buds location of receptors throughout mouth but concentrated on tongue and nature of flavor chemical is must dissolve in water means saliva which is present in the mouth of human body second is smell smell is vanilla butter thousands of more receptors are olfactory cells on the olfactory bulb location of receptors are top of nozzle activity or cavity nature of flavor chemical must resolve in water mucous members membranes must be volatile and chemical and filling factors are pungency burns numbing numbing cooling and others there are various types of uh, three components of flavor 